Hi guys! Oh my god, thank you so much for 800 subscribers. I'm so close to being able to monetize my channel, which is like my dream, so that I can keep making art and kind of like educational spiritual videos going forward. And it's not even about like the money or the numbers, it just means so much to me that you know, you guys actually care enough about my channel to subscribe. It's so kind. I appreciate every single person. It's like not a collective number. I think about how each individual person took the time to press subscribe and wants to actually keep up with my videos. It just means a lot to me because I know when I watch YouTubers, I don't just subscribe to everybody I watch. So to know that you guys actually are interested in sticking around, it honestly is like so heartwarming. So thank you so much for being here with me. I never thought I could ever even get more than like a hundred. So this is really cool. I know that to other people that's not a lot, but to me it means the world. So yeah, whether I get one new subscriber or thousands, it doesn't matter. I think of all of you as like my family, my friends, because you guys are supporting me in my life and I like connecting with you. I love when people DM me and comment things to me. It's just like, I feel this connection. That's why I do what I do and I post things. It's not because I love myself and I want everyone to see me. It's because I want to find lots of deeper connections with people all over the world through art and deep conversation and just fun stuff. So my long-winded way of just saying thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Today, we are going to make a very vulnerable, honest video because I think that as I'm, you know, I've seen a lot more of you here. I think a lot of you appreciate honesty and um, a lot of people like the sit down and you know, chat, honest type videos. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to talk about this piece that I made yesterday. I just sanded it before I filmed this because I'm also kind of filming like a day in the life, which I will link below. Yeah, so this here is my new piece. I'll do some close-ups of it and everything. I'm gonna be painting the border and the back white, which I think is fitting. This piece means the absolute world to me, which we're going to get into in this video. I don't have too much planned on what I'm gonna say because I think I'm just gonna try and speak from the heart as much as possible, which I usually like to script my videos slightly just because I can be a bit rambly sometimes. Should I move back so you guys can actually see me paint this a little better? Do you think that's better? I think it is. It's kind of weird if I just paint to something like looking down, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I want to get into all of your responses. If you follow me on Instagram at MegDionArt, you guys have astounded me in the last day. I swear every time I post a painting or a project that really comes from the soul, people sense it. It's so wild when I force myself to do work and I force a painting I find it doesn't get a much of a response so it's so crazy like even people that aren't super into art can still feel that passion and I think that is such a collective um, feeling that you know what is it like it's like action between all of us like this what is it like unconscious connection however you would say that I'm gonna get a little more into that in a bit I have been going through a little bit of a hard time lately I think that quarantine doesn't help a lot of us but I do think that there is a lot of things like kind of upsetting me before it even started so it's not like quarantine has brought on negative emotions but just that you know it, it puts it under a microscope a little more I wouldn't even say that quarantine has amplified the problems it's just amplified like it's just an added stress is how I would explain it and I've just been dealing with some stuff personally and it's been really hard and I've found it very hard to get out of bed, especially in, since quarantine, that's kind of what I mean by added. It's like I've been upset about some things and then I feel like it's an added stress when you can't go anywhere, or do anything and it's definitely really difficult. I found it really hard to eat, really hard to get out of bed and I'm not a naturally depressed person um, at all. I'm, um, I have really bad anxiety, which sometimes can go hand in hand, but overall I'm a really happy person. So when I get depressed, it's definitely not good because it means something's really up with me and I'm someone who likes to stay very in touch with myself. So when I'm upset, I'm like, okay, we need to do some self-reflection and figure out what's what's up, what's going on. I'm a very, I really love communication as you guys have seen so many videos that I've made are about communication because I love being able to have open conversations with people and kind conversations, um, which is something, a skill that I think 
a lot of people, whether it's friends, family, people I've dated have just really lacked it. I love watching all types of, I think I'm very interested by relationships. I love relationship dynamics. I watch a few channels. I watch this one channel, Connor and Brittany, and they're in um they don't really define their relationship, but they do kind of go by polyamorous. And um, it's something that I wouldn't do personally, but I love watching people who just live different lives than me and their philosophies behind things because I think it's good to challenge yourself. And um, I don't know, I just love communication. I love relationship dynamics and just seeing what some people do to make it work and what other people do. I just find it super cool. Saying like I'm a very expressive person and I like watching other couples talk about how they work through things and like, their expressions and to expose yourself to lots of different couples and ideas that way you can kind of see what works for you and what doesn't and it inspires me like when I watch other people talk about let's say for example somebody talks about something that um, upsets them that their partner's doing and maybe I can be like oh I kind of do that sometimes maybe that's something I can work on with me I just love growth I love growing with people I love self growth I love improvement I don't think you should be the same person you were and I think that the only way to do that is to actually set intentions to do that. I think a lot of people just kind of go day to day and don't really think too much about things and I just, that sounds horrible to me. I really like to dig deep within myself and if something's upsetting me, I think about like why it's upsetting me. Is this a deep rooted issue? Is this something that I need to work on? And yeah, just improving it and improving my communication skills with my partner and with my friends. I just think it's very important. So yeah, I'm a very expressive person. Yeah, so what I was gonna add is that I'm someone who feels very deeply. Um, I know some people call themselves like an empath. I guess I would say that. I don't know if that sounds like arrogant when I say that, but um, I, I just feel really deeply. So like I feel love so deeply, which also means you're open to feel pain so deeply. So I think that for what might be kind of like a problem for somebody is like, huge on my mental health because I feel so much love and it's like a good thing that you can feel so much love and then it's also um, a hard thing to feel so much love because then when you know there's things going on it makes you feel that much more sad but you know that's just the way it is so I feel things really deeply and things really affect me not in the way that things like being dramatic or anything but like if there is a conflict it does really hurt me same with friends like if something happens with a friend it deeply affects me. I've learned better to cope with it, like to do art and other things, make videos about it to release my thoughts and feelings, but I still am someone who feels deeply and I think that that's also an artist trait. You know, you can't make art unless you're very in touch with yourself and you feel a lot. That's how people make the best music and the best paintings and all of that is just from that deep emotion. I think it's a good thing because I'm really proud of how much love I have and how much love I can feel for somebody and I think that I love to just spoil people with it and in the past I've definitely felt like my love was almost like too much for people because they didn't receive it well but now I'm in a place in my life where I know that the people around me are people that love to feel my love which is awesome and that's not me trying to say that I'm like this Mother Teresa, you know, but I do feel like that definitely. I feel like a lot of artists feel like that. A lot of people feel like that, not even just artists. That's kind of where I've been at, just a lot of personal things going on and then, you know, the whole world's shutting down basically right now, so it affects what your plans are. I really wanted to have an album, or like an EP out by this summer and now, you know, you can't go to production and there are so many things that are just shutting down, slowing down, especially in the artist world. It's hard. A lot of people have to cancel their tours and it's just a rough time right now. And I'm almost, I've been a little bit nervous to do art because I'm scared I'm going to run out of supplies and Amazon isn't shipping pri uh, things other than priority. So it's almost like if you want to order stuff, you have to wait over a month to get it. So I'm nervous to do resin because I don't want to run out of resin. So that's been a bit of a stressor on me and kind of holding me back a little bit from doing art. And now I'm like, okay, well, whatever happens, happens. If you run out of supplies, just 
you're going to have to wait and get new ones or maybe order it now so it comes in time and not letting that hold me back from doing what I love. It's been harder to work through things like I'm someone who likes to be very busy. I love doing um, chores like laundry and dishes and cleaning because I find it soothes my anxiety. Cleaning really makes me happy. I'm trying to keep a little bit busier with that and um, just trying to find things that make me happier. I've isolated myself a lot in bed lately, which is not like me at all. So uh, making sure I'm getting out of bed at a reasonable time and working on at least one productive thing. I know that a lot of us aren't productive every single day with the circumstances, but just trying to not wallow in bed and all of that. So I'm okay now though, I'm gonna kinda like talk about that. I've been going through it emotionally a lot lately and if you're one of my friends who's been kinda talking to me, thank you so much. I have a fucking amazing friends, like I'm so lucky. I have such great people in my life that just have my back. It's taken me a long time to kinda narrow down on some of them because you know, you have to let go of a lot of friends sometimes in your life but I think the people I have now are just freaking awesome. I paint like this. So, um, yesterday I was like, okay, I need to deal with my shit. I need to like express myself. I need to, um, you know, just kind of start working through some of these things that I've been feeling lately. I'm not going to go into detail because obviously it's personal. I've been like, yesterday I was finally like, okay, let's deal with this. Let's work through it. And instead of wallowing in bed and like waiting to work on things, I was like, okay, I'm going to get out of bed and I'm going to make a painting. And I had no expectations. The only thing I said going into it was that I wanted to work with a lot of white space. I didn't want it to just be covered in, in colors. That way I could kind of work a little bit more on technique and placement rather than just like, you know, moving colors around. I wanted to try and work with a little bit more technique in this piece. I go into it with expectations, which is like usually a good idea because... Sometimes, you know, you see something on Pinterest and then you want to try it and it's like, you try it and you're like, what the hell happened? Why does my painting look so bad compared to the inspiration? I've personally found with doing resin anyways, that inspiration does not help me. I think I just have to create an experiment for myself. I mean, I have taught myself how to do most things with resin, but in terms of even like inspiration and looking at other people's work, I just find it so much easier to not do that because then you don't go into it with expectations because resin has a mind of its own. I was covering an old piece as well so that's all I really went into it with um, just this feeling that I wanted to keep it pretty simple, not too many colors and just pour my heart out into this. Everything that I've been feeling over the last little while, just pour my absolute soul into this and find some healing through it because I said to myself I'm not going to wallow in bed today, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do this piece and I'm going to feel a lot better after it hopefully. I did end up feeling a lot better but I was just hoping that I would. I also worked with acrylic paint and alcohol links. I didn't know how that was going to turn out so I just let myself kind of experiment. I really like the alcohol links for accent colors. Yeah so I basically just poured, oh forgot this was all wet. I poured my heart and soul into this. I just took every feeling and emotion that was negative that I've been feeling and positive as well which I'll talk about into this and I just like let myself feel, I let myself think, and it just felt so good to release into this painting. This represents everything I've been feeling. I look at this and I'm like, this is the visual representation of myself and my emotion because I've explained in videos before how I'm very visual. I didn't know that synesthesia, when Billie Eilish started talking about it in an interview, I didn't know that that was like a thing people had. I thought it was just normal. Like I know that every day of the week and number has a specific color and like feel to it. And I feel like emotions, to emotions, sound, everything to me is color. So when I look at this, it's like these colors and the way that the colors go is how I felt inside. This is an exact visual representation of everything I've been feeling. So it's freaking cool. It's cool that you can do that in an abstract way. So I'll go into a little bit more. Oh, that was fucking smart. Are you serious? How dumb can I be? I just put the wet part in between my legs. I actually like these sweatpants. Oh, that sucks. Anyways, um, I poured my heart into this and these little I'm going to do close-ups for this part, but yeah, these little parts here just remind me so much of veins, which reminds me of the heart. 
and that to me ties into the whole theme because like my heart was really hurting and like things just weren't feeling good in so many aspects of my life so I have these like little veins which just reminds me of that. The This part reminds me of fire and it feels like to me fire doesn't necessarily mean something bad but it, it's like the passion burning in me, the emotion that's been burning in me. It reminds me of like, you know, like I said, I feel things strongly and I, when I care about something, I really care about something. Yeah, I would say that it was like the, the passion, the anger, and just the stuff that's been wrapped inside me and it was like time to release it. And the purple was the love because even if you're upset at someone or something, there's, or, you know, there's still love there. If something happens with your friend, you know, there's still love there even when you're mad at them. It doesn't just disappear. And then I put the gold in it to kind of make it very beautiful and give it more depth because I think that there is so much beauty in feeling even the negative negative, which I don't think many things are actually negative because they're always a stepping stone to growth and feeling better and putting that emotion into art because a lot of art comes from sadness and anger and all of that sort of stuff. So for me the gold was like the beauty in all of this and the beauty that in the fact that I'm able to feel that I'm alive and I'm able to feel things and turn those feelings into positive communication and art and all of that sort of stuff. So um, I thought that the gold really tied that theme in and that's why I also put some of the gold in the red to kind of represent that there was still beauty in that passion and in that anger or in whatever I've been feeling. And I had to watch over this baby for so long because for some reason it just did not want to stay like in place. It just kept trying to fall off of one side and I kept rearranging what it was resting on. It was just not working so I kind of felt like it was like my little baby. I had to tend to it just like you have to kind of tend to yourself and your emotions. I felt like I was like tending to and being gentle with you know everything that I've been feeling. I felt like I was just like really putting my love and care into um, everything in, into myself almost. I think that honestly the universe wanted me to make this and almost thanked me for it because right after I made this piece so many things in my life I started kind of figuring out and um, my situations I've been upset about were a lot more resolved than they had been. So I think the universe was like okay you know what you got up out of bed and made this so here you go. A lot of things for you are going to start to feel better now, which is awesome. Hopefully they start to feel better. I mean, you never know. I think that the universe was like, yes, this is what you needed to do. This is what I've been waiting for you to make. And that's when you can start to feel a little bit better. So now the last thing I'm going to say is I'm going to talk about you guys because holy crap, so many messages about this piece. I swear people just know when I love something and when I actually put so much passion into it and it's very different from any art I've ever made before in the past and it's like I don't know people just know. I don't know how but they do because every piece I've made that my heart really went into it I've gotten so many messages like I got messages this time around from people that don't typically you know respond to my art even so it was like wow people that this has really touched some people. What's cool about it is this one girl said she really loved it and I was like, thank you. Like, I didn't say specifics, but I just said I was feeling some type of way and I just made this out of those feelings. And um, she was like, oh, okay, well, knowing that, you probably don't want to sell it, but I'm interested in buying something. And then I thought about it. I was like, I'm almost more interested in selling this because not only was the act of making it a release and letting go. I'm very big on letting go. Like I don't like holding on to fights and anger and sadness. Like if I talk something out with someone, I'm not gonna bring it up again. It's like, it's done and it's dealt with. For me making this was a release and I, I let go of my feelings, but then I feel like giving it to someone, you know? Like why would I hold on to this? Because although I think it's beautiful and I love this piece, I don't think I need to hold on to it because I don't think it belongs to me anymore. I think it became what it became and giving it to someone else it will take on new meaning to them and that's even more beautiful than if I were to hold on to it and giving it to someone would also be like would only be more of a release to me and um, although it's very special to me and if nobody wants it of course I don't mind keeping it but I think that if you know someone really does want it which I have some interest right now then it's just even more beautiful to let that fully go and give it to somebody that 
will appreciate it and love it as much as I do. I really appreciate every single message I get about my art. It means the world to me. Bring yourself into something and then uploading it and even making this video right now, it's, it's not an easy thing to do, although I am an expressive person. It is kind of hard to post your stuff out there for strangers or post videos for strangers, so the fact that people respond to it means so much. I really do appreciate it, and I'm glad that a lot of you can see when my heart and soul goes into something. It's crazy. It's so cool to me. It's so cool. So I think that's all I'm going to say for today. Thank you so much for listening to me, watching this video, supporting me. I'm so happy to have more of you here. Let me know down below what you've done to heal yourself. I'd be very interested to know. I love hearing like some people like yoga or painting or going for a walk. There's so many ways that we can heal ourselves and put so much of ourselves into something or working out, you know, whatever it is. So let me know what you think works effectively and you can follow me at Meg Dion Art for much more art. You can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because I'd love to have you a part of this awesome family. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it helps out my channel very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've had so much fun talking about this baby with you guys and I love you very much. Bye!